Hey San Diego in La Jolla, California. This is Justin Brennan logging in for another video blog. Uh, this is your April 2010 market update and just giving you an idea of what's going on here in San Diego. The numbers are in. Uh, sales rose sharply this last month. They actually matched the March 2006 uh, sales numbers, which is surprising and definitely showing a great buying trend here in San Diego. With regards to inventory levels, months of supply and pricing here in San Diego, uh, I'm going to pop up on the screen right now, just a bar chart from this last month. What's going to pop out at you, of course, is the million plus price range here in San Diego. You still got about 20 months of supply. An average market is six. So unfortunately for any of my high-end luxury sellers in La Jolla, downtown or other luxury areas, you're still in a declining market. Which means you have a couple choices if you're selling. You either need to price your home appropriately and set the market or you're going to chase it down. And at the end of the day, you're still going to be frustrated. So you can get it done right the first time or you can just wait and chase the market down, but you're still in a tough marketplace due to financing, lack of buyers in that price point uh, in a tough buying environment. Obviously, if you're looking at the lower price ranges, three to 600,000, I mean, there's no supply. It's literally half of what it should be in an average market. Uh, I can't get any of my FHA or VA clients into that price range right now. It's pretty tough. That's just because you're competing with cash buyers and large down payment conventional buyers. But uh, this gives you a good idea of inventory levels, months of, months of supply, and what's happening price-wise. The bottom level, three to 600,000 and above, right in that $600,000 range, prices are actually stabilizing and rising, which is great. And you love to see that. Foreclosures, notice of defaults, uh, deeds in lieu, short sales, all that other stuff. You can The numbers are definitely in for that. And unfortunately, I'm gonna pop up another bar chart here. You can see quarter by quarter, the notice of defaults and notice of trustee sales have risen sharply from this time last year. And they're probably gonna to continue to rise depending on what happens with the HAMP program that's in place for modifications and the HAFA program that's in place for the alternative foreclosure program to see what really happens with short sales and more importantly, deeds in lieu moving forward into the third and fourth quarter of 2010. So, economics. The great thing is the unemployment rate is staying steady here in San Diego at about 9.7% which is definitely helping for uh, the housing market to help stabilize it. If people have income, they can forecast into the future and hopefully their families can purchase a home since it is such a great time to do that. Um, the other great thing is that creditors are, creditors, consumers are uh, shedding their debt. Uh, maybe that's not you, but what you are seeing, uh, a good trend happen is that people are beginning to live within their means. Uh, it's a great sign, and hopefully that continues forward. People are actually spending the money they have and not dropping it on revolving lines of credit and credit cards. So that's a, another great sign. Um, so that's what's going on here market-wise here in San Diego. I uh, hope I can help you out with any questions you may have. Short sales, distressed property situations, uh, I'm certified, NASPRO certified, as well as CDPE, which stands for Certified uh, Distressed Property Expert. If you need questions or answers to anything, go to my website. It's a great website. Click on short sales, and you can read everything you want, frequently asked questions, tax implications, uh, delinquency issues, anything you want to know about short sales, deeds in lieu, your options, what can happen to you in either situation. Uh, hopefully that'll help. TheLaHoyLife.com, and until next time, this is Justin Brennan, and have a great day.